hello guys welcome back wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time i'm still updating you guys this is 10 p.m 21st january 2021 okay i really don't know where to begin and i don't know how to end this but uh what will before may be surprising but it is more like what the leader of IPOB Mazinam Dikano was preaching. Now, um, the issue of headmen vacating on those state is already escalating. Okay, so I have um, something to give you guys. It's a letter from the Fulani Nationalist Movement, and the headline of this letter is "Remove the Fulanis from Forest and Face War." That is the headline of the letter. Okay, so um, already it has been posted on the Femi Fani Kayode uh, Facebook page. But um, without wasting much of your time, let me give you the breakdown of um, the full uh, the full write up of this letter. Okay, before I know what to say and also allow you guys to contribute. So the letter reads in quote. Remove the Fulanis from forest and face war. And that is coming from the Fulani Nationalist Movement, FUNAM. Attention has been drawn to a decree credited to one Rotimi Akeredulu asking Fulani people who have occupied some forests in Ondo State to quit. We are also aware of another incidents in Oyo state where an illiterate political talk gave quick notice to Fulani people to leave the territories which are now their irreversible homes. This is, this is not only an irresponsible demand but a call to arms of the faithful who have been pursuing they are legitimate business in this forest. We have given a counter order. No Fulani will move an inch, either in Oyo, Ondo, or any part of the south, any part of the western part of Nigeria. On behalf of Fulani Nationalist Movement, we hereby warn the government, the government, Oyo and its agents. One Sunday, Iboho and the Undo state government to resign their order of very serious consequences. It is shocking that the said Iboho, an Dulu, who is a beneficiary of the system, is given a stupid order that he knows no one will respect. He didn't get the forest through him. We didn't get the forest through him. And how does he expect Fulani to obey his empty order? If he had been he if he had been shot during attack on him, will he be alive to give orders? Humans have a short memory. The Fulani people in this forest acquire these lands legitimately. The Fulani also operate under the ECOWAS protocol on free movement of persons. The people giving the order should know they do not have the capacity to enforce such orders. First, they are not the Nigerian police, neither are they the Nigerian army. The National Assembly has not given such, not even the House of Assembly, in the two states acquired to such irresponsible demand. The Fulani will resist by all means necessary, including armed resistance, any attempt to forcefully reject, to eject them from this forest that in reality does not belong to this state alone. Some are Federal Reserve forests. We want to ask Akere Dulu whether those communities brought the land from heaven. We warn that any one Fulani blood that is shed further in the southwest will automatically lead to up in the six states. 
in the sixth state of Lagos, Oshun, Oyo, Ondo, Ekiti, and Ogun state. We, the Fulani, on red alert and waiting for the call, and will never succumb to any threat or intimidation by ethnic by God. I, Badu, Salisu, Amadu, given my new responsibility, will with other faithful never fail the Fulani nation in its Allah chosen destiny. Signed by Badu, Salisu, Amadu, West Africa Regional Coordinator, Funam. All right. Okay, guys, um, that is uh, the statement from should i say the coordinator okay should i say the coordinator of the funam or representative of the fulani national movement of nigeria i really don't know i don't know what is going to happen so far so good but we know the story already how the ondo state governor sent the fulani out from the forest reserve because of their criminal activities but now there is a counter attack from the fulani and with the headline it is going to be war if he remove the fulani from the forest that they really don't have a choice than to take arms. now this is um the prophecy of namdekanu manifesting and all times, um, this, the people of South East should go and thank that man. Talking about Namdekanu for setting up. They set up, uh, the South West set up uh, um, uh, Amotekun and they, they joke over it because, should I say the national leader, people controlling the party are not reacting to anything. None of them, you know the person I'm talking about. Why is that so? So, what we are seeing now may escalate to something else and we should pray it do not all right so i wanted to update you guys uh the counter reaction of fulani okay after the governor and other southwest leaders asked them to vacate the environment what do you guys think about this where do you think this war will end and without fear these are the same people talking about arms. If it was from the southern state, anybody talking about arms, the following day, DSS will come for the person. I'm telling you the truth. But these are people that are talking about arms. But believe me, nothing, no security agency will invite this person. They will not. If it were to be somebody from the south, the south is or the south, the, sec the, the security agency, the first thing in the morning, they will invite him or they go pick him up. But let's see what will happen. Let me know what you guys think on the comment section below.